delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Reverie Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Welcome, friends, to the opening hole at Ocean of Memories. Par 4, 445 yards, and just a wonderful, gorgeous, poetic scene. Second shot is glorious, absolutely glorious. The green sitting up top of a little perch. The bunker sitting there, brown. I just want to stare and watch it and look at it. Soak it in. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Oh, the fried egg. That's ugly. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? They're deep down in there, guys. I do not envy them, but uh, looking forward to seeing how they get out. Sixteen feet to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. He's in a share of 15th. Welcome to this par five hole. Not a bad line, this one. Second shot on the second. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. And this effort by Justin Thomas. for a birdie, a birdie with big wings. And he holds it, what a putt. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like they've got about 38 feet to the cup. This one's for Birdie. Ooh, nice line. Well done. Take the Birdie. He's in a share of third place.
you've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. <laughs> Opting for the 9 iron. Woo, back there, horsey. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Air mailed the green with that approach. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much. And let's have another look at that one. Currently two under for the event. This hole is a par three. Is it one you should attack or play the smart shot? Going with the 9-9, I think. Yeah, quality shot, that. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Bit too heavy handed there. There's part of about six feet coming up. Oh, what a stroke. And there it is. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, I'm looking at Ian Poulter at the moment. We're over on the fourth. Thirty-three feet out here. Oh, what a great stroke. <laughs> oh, that's a ripper. I will take that also into the top five now. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This took place just a short time ago. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is on the leaderboard. Second shot here. Well, that was almost in the hole for Thomas.
Okay, let's get back to the action. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Yep, that shot safely on the green. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Just one off the lead after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Just a stroke behind the leader. Should find the green here. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Frustrating. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. And that finds him in a share of second. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm on the eighth hole, and we are watching Ian Poulter at the moment. Setting up in the bunker here. How close was that to going in the hole? Oh, that's incredible. And for birdie, too. Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. Let's get back to it, shall we? Playing this one about 130 yards out. Two strokes off the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. A seven-footer right here. Not a bad line, this. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take him to three under. He's currently just in second place. We have a par three on this one.
Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Birdie at the last. This for another. Oh, just missed. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. This hole here is a par four. This one looks to be heading down the runway. Sitting at minus three, currently tied for second. Looks to be going with the six iron. Yeah, that one's looking good. Not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Luke, I got to say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. That was a gallant attempt. This putt to move into a tie for first. I don't mind the look of this. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Well, a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Well, this player's pretty much come out of nowhere, crept in the lead ever so quietly. I'm interested to see how they perform over those final nine holes and see if they can keep it up for the rest of the tournament. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Two wins so far this season. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Come on, you're better than that. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down. That is absolutely brilliant. The rarest of shots. And that will take him to five under. Getting ready to play their third.
Ooh. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Green's in regulation. What a statistic. Always nice to hold those for birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Opting for the 9-iron. This looks to be heading to the green. Oh, that's a great shot, and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. I'm looking at Ian Poulter on the 13th, lining up his next shot. Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. And back to the course with the live action. Time for the second shot at the 12th. Opting for the three wood. Oh, well done. Not afraid to go deep. This putts for six under par. Ooh, right by the hole. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. boy good shot and here we are with the third shot Andy effort, that one. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And that will move him to six under par. 
Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. What a gargantuan tee shot. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. You want to know why our current leader is where they are? Have a look at this. Interested to take a look at this approach shot? Ooh, ever so close. Sitting at six under, currently in the lead. Going with the six iron here. This one's going right at the pin here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. This one's dialed in. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by three strokes now. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That's some good golf right there. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? I'm over here on the 16th hole. We have Ian Poulter just about ready to hit. And there it goes from the sand. OK, let's get back to the action. Time for the second shot at the 15th. Oh, well played. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And that's eight birdies today. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. That should find the cut stuff. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Woo-wee. 
They show movies on flights shorter than that. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. It's got a chance. It was on a good line. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Well hold. Let's move on. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Ting off here on the 17th hole. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This one's heading left, I think. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Well played, mate. Nine feet to the cup. Looking better. Just didn't drop. Putting for bogey. And that puddle drop. Well done. Leading by a couple after that hole. This is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Playing from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that should secure the par. Well done. Well, you've got to take your hat off to them, Rich. Just an outstanding performance this week. Hat trick of victories now. Three of them. Got to say, this player is on fire.